Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris with CNM Aquatics with another video. And today we're going to talk a little bit about toadstool leather corals. And in my opinion, I think these corals are a little underrated. They are a soft coral and they don't have a lot of the colors that people want in corals. That's one reason that they're not as popular, but they are great beginner corals. So toadstool leathers like I said, are a soft coral and they grow out of a stem and then come up to a cap just like a mushroom. And that's how they get their name, toadstool leathers. And they'll grow little fingers coming off the top of the coral. And that's one way they'll self-propagate is those fingers will sometimes flake off and, and fall to another area of the aquarium and another leather will grow. So toadstool leathers are fantastic corals for beginners. People just starting out in the hobby wanting to start with some corals. They tolerate a wide range of parameters. It's always best to be, you know, have your aquarium where you, you want it within a certain range. But they, they tolerate swings very well and they adjust. And leathers do a lot better than most corals in dirtier water so if you have an aquarium that runs higher nutrients you know nitrates and phosphates these guys adapt very well to that and they can grow fairly quickly in dirtier situations the aquariums kept here are cleaner because of LPS and, and SPS corals kept in with them so they don't grow as fast but they do grow and this is a frag that I didn't cut. He just fell off another colony and landed on that rock and, and started growing on his own. So you can see the, the base here, the stem. They can get a pretty thick stem coming up and then they come up to a cap and open up and grow the fingers and you can see all the individual polyps opened up on top. And when they get bigger, they, they do sway in the current so they add a little bit of movement to your aquarium, aquarium as well, which is nice. And this guy, he's actually about a four-year-old toadstool. He's got a, a nice thick base. This is just showing a couple clips. This is a neon toadstool. So they do have a couple different color variants, but it's mainly that tan or beige and then the neon green ones. And just to show an example, this is not a toadstool. This is a finger leather. They can get confused for one another sometimes, but a finger leather comes up and branches off and you can see the difference here toadstool on the right and the finger leather on the left just to show some of the differences the finger leather has kind of smaller polyps so they're very easy to care for great for beginners so I'm going to show you guys if you want if you have one that's growing in your aquarium and is larger how to cut it and propagate it so you can have more toadstools or you can take them to your local fish store in exchange for other corals or credit. These guys are very easy to cut and propagate so I'm just going to use a pair of stainless steel scissors and you'll need a cutting board or a place to do the cutting and then I always dip my corals after cut. So there's two different methods. Some people will trim all the way around the cap and then cut that strip into pieces but if you don't want to do that I prefer taking finding a finger coming off the top of the cap and you'll just clip it off towards the base of the cap and, and this causes far less damage than cutting the whole cap and it will grow back faster than if you cut the whole cap so you just snip off your finger not your finger the, the finger on the coral and then I'm gonna place it in the dip just to cut down on any type of infection. The, the dipping portion is kind of optional, but if I can take a step to you know, decrease infection and give the coral a better chance, I will do that. It doesn't take long, five, 10 minutes in the dip and you're good. Then place the colony back in your aquarium. And I like to face it so it cuts where I can see it. In case it starts to get infected or looks funny, I can keep an eye on it. So, then I will take the cutting and place it in some substrate. This is a low flow aquarium for that purpose. You want to make sure it stays put for roughly a week, week or two, and it'll attach to some rubble. Then you can glue it directly onto a frag plug. 
And before you know it, you'll have a whole bunch of these guys. They're very easy to cut and they're fun to learn and it's a great coral for a beginner just starting. They are hard, they are fairly hard to kill, so make sure you're keeping them alive and then you can move on to something else. I appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching.